Hey everybody, it's Brian, head tutor from Score Beyond, coming at you from Score Beyond headquarters in sunny Menlo Park, California. Let's tackle today's SAT question of the day. So this question here is asking about the mean. The mean is, well, it's another word for average. And hopefully you know that we find the average by taking the total of a bunch of things and then dividing by the number of those things. So for this problem, we want to find the mean number of math and physics questions that Matt does each day. So we just happen to have a chart here that gives us the number of questions that Matt is going to do each day. Let's take the numbers from this chart for math and physics to find our average. First we need to find the total number of math and physics questions that Matt answers. That's easily found on the chart since total is listed at the bottom for both. 105 for math, 100 for physics. So that's 205 total questions for math and physics together over all the days. Now our number of things, in this case, happens to be each day that Matt does questions. We can see from the chart that we have one, two, three, four, five total days. We came up with our totals of 105 and 100 from compiling the math numbers and the physics numbers for each of the five days. So we're going to put a five for our number of things. 205 divided by 5 should give us 41, which is answer B. So go ahead and bubble that in. So there you go. Not too bad for score beyond SAT question of the day. A pretty straightforward math problem, at least when you recognize what mean means and then how to extract information from the problem to find that mean. If you'd like extra help on statistical questions like this on the SAT or in math in general, tap the tutoring button at the bottom of the screen or if you're watching in our blog, scroll down to the bottom and click on the tutoring logo there. All right, see you next time.